good morning student today i am going to explain the structure design example so in the last class i was explaining the some of the examples of cmos design that is a pseudo nmos and dynamic cmos and domino's logic and also clocked cmos and np cmos okay so now we'll discuss the structural design examples in structural design so the design method is actually the top down approaches is there and the bottom up approaches we have in top down approach so the main module is divided into sub module and then the leaf cell okay so the next is uh, in the top up sorry bottom up approach is from the bottom is leaf cells it go through hub like a sub module and then the main module okay so based on this the structural designs some of the examples are the parity generator and the multiplexer and also pla that is a programmable logic array so first uh, we'll discuss the parity generator so parity generator is a combinational circuit okay it is a combinational circuit in a vlsi a circuit is designed to indicate the parities of a binary numbers is shown in n plus 1 bit input okay here we are considering n plus 1 bit input okay so first we'll discuss what is an even parity what is an odd parity okay so in even parity if you consider the parity bit is zero okay if the parity bit is zero okay then there is a even number of ones even number of ones the parity bit is zero okay so see here so this is the truth table suppose i am considering in 3 bit okay so the possibility combination is 0 to 7 so if the if the parity bit is 0 okay there is a even number of ones so the first bit you are you are not consider uh, you can consider the second bit if the parity bit is 1 okay if the parity bit is 1 if there are a odd number of ones in the data stream so see here if the odd numbers means the only one is an odd number here okay only one oh, single one is there so that's why this is an odd number okay so the next is also single one is there that's why the even parity is bit is 1 the next is if the two one is there okay if the two one is there even number of ones the parity bit is 0 the parity bit is 0 okay so similar so the similarly if you consider it is opposite to the odd parity if it is an only single number of 1 okay the odd number of 1 comes the output is zero so we have to make it as an odd parity if it is single zero if it is a double that means even number of ones then the the odd parity is 1 okay so this is the truth table for the even and odd parity okay so next see look at here so this is the parity generator basic block diagram so this is the first basic block diagram so this is the input a not a1 a2 to an minus 1 to an and this is a pin p complement okay so this is a basic circuit and in that basic circuit they added one block so this is this block is a cascading the block so this is cascading the whatever we have the uh, the basic parity generator we just one block is cascading okay and see here so here it is an pin input so pin complement from the previous stage so this is a previous stage output okay so this is from the previous stage and actually here we will get here we will get pi 
okay whatever it is there no pa and pa complement actually that is this pa so it indicate pa plus 2 is there no so that is a pi and this is a in the bottom is pi complement okay so now i will consider one example okay suppose i am considering let a equal to 0 101 suppose i am take it as an example 010 0101 0101. so how many number of ones is there number of ones is 2 if number of ones is 2 means it is an even parity okay it is an even parity that means p is equal to 1 okay so p is equal to 1 if p is equal to 1 okay the the output i should consider p is equal to 1 okay please remember so 0 1 0 1 so 2 ones is there that means even number of ones is there so that's why p parity bit p is equal to 1 see here i am assuming 1 and 0 initial okay it is a assumption 1 and 0 okay if the 1 and 0 comes okay if 1 and 0 so the output is ai and also you have to write the this one 0 1 0 you have to write down here so these input you have to 0 1 0 you have to write it here so ai minus 1 and a i and a i plus 1 and a i plus z so a plus 2 okay here you have to mention the input so here i am considering this one no 0 1 0 1 you have to write down here 0 1 0 1 okay next so this is the first we have to assume 1 0 so if it is 1 0 the next block should be you have to see the input whatever you are giving input here it is a zero if zero comes okay if zero comes the output is okay the previous output will never change so whatever you are giving assumption the same will be transferred to the the next block that is 1 0 here you are giving 1 0 the output will 1 0 based on the input we are you are giving 0 okay so the next the next is as 1 if as 1 the input is complemented so the input is complemented that means ones goes to 0 and zeros comes to 1 okay then okay so you will get here the output is 0 and 1 now the next is ai plus 1 is 0 okay so this is the input i am taking this one okay don't get confused 0 1 0 i am uh, writing here 0 1 0 1 okay the next is after 1 0 so 0 here i am getting 0 and 1 so if z- input is 0 means there is no change the same you have to write it here 0 0 and 1 is 1 okay here i am getting again 0 1 and here the input is 1 if the input is 1 means what is the output the output is complemented so the complemented output is what you will get 0 comes to 1 and 1 goes to 0 okay because of the input is 1 okay so this is the operation how it will be work okay so the next is let us uh, take it an another example that is 0110 okay 0110 if it is a uh, even number of it is not not even number of ones it is an odd number of ones 111 one, one. 31 is there if odd number of ones comes the parity bit is 0 okay if p is equal to 0 even number of ones comes then only the parity bit is 1 if odd number of ones comes the parity bit is 0 okay so now you will check this one let us assume here 0 0 here 1 here is also 1 and here is also 1 so this is our input 
اوكي okay. uh, as usually i am assuming 0 and 1 okay so the if the input is the input is here also 0 no 0 1 1 1 if the input is 0 what is my input the what is the previous input it is it will won't change it will give same 1 0 okay again if i am giving 1 if i giving 1 the input is changed to 0 and 1 okay again i am giving here 1 so if i am giving here 1 this input is changed to 1 and 0 okay 1 and 0 1 and 0 again i am giving here 1 it, again it will change 1 is changed to 0 1 is changed to 0 and 0 is changed to 1 okay what i'm getting here 0 so actually this is my pi and pi bar okay understood now so the next is so see see the next block is another parity generator so this is the basic one bit cell okay so this is a basic one bit cell here so in the simplified we can write it pi minus 1 and pi minus 1 complemented so this is the previous inputs and this is the pi and pi bar so this is the next output next and these are the inputs a and a bar okay so uh, see a little reflections will readily reveal the requirement r okay if suppose if the a is 1 okay if a equal to 1 okay so the parity is changed correct no if I, it is an 1 the parity input will be changed okay that only they are explained if a is equal to 1 the parity is changed change it to pi is equal to pi minus 1 the complemented so pi is equal to pi minus 1 complemented so the complemented output we will get it here okay pi is equal to pi minus 1 and similarly if the a is equal to 0 if the a is equal to 0 the parity is unchanged the parity is unchanged pi is equal to pi minus 1 so same there is no change pi is equal to pi minus 1 okay pi is equal to pi minus 1 if it is an 0 a is equal to 0 okay so based on this one we can get an this equation okay so pi is equal to pi equal to pi minus 1 pi minus 1 into ai into ai plus pi minus 1 into ai complemented that means 0 no so that's why ai complemented so ai complemented so this is the equation okay based on this equation okay we have to draw the nmos circuit cmos circuits and also stick diagram okay so the equation is pi is equal to pi minus 1 complemented ai plus ai minus 1 ai bar so this is the equation i already told for this one so this is a parity generator in mos circuit with a stick diagram okay so this is the equation here plus so this is the x nor operation so this is the x nor expression okay so how we will draw the circuit i already told so first we have to design the nmos circuit in nmos circuit plus comes what you will do if the plus comes we have to do it in parallel so initially pi minus 1 and so pi minus 1 and ai is there so in between it is a dot okay correct now pi minus 1 bar into a so dot is there in nmos dot comes we have to do it series operation so first look at this this expression okay so that is so we have to do it in series pi minus 1 and ai okay so for this one we are doing series okay similarly and pi minus 1 ai bar so 
pi i minus 1 a bar this is also series and both should be in parallel so plus is there so here is a both in parallel both equation in parallel is it in parallel no? so both in parallel and here so the this is the decision this is the nmos design i'm doing so what is this this is an nmos depletion nmos depletion so i already told no so whenever you are designing nmos circuit in the top the depletion region will come okay so this is the uh, standard depletion region will come this is the constant okay so this should come n more n type of depletion transistor depletion transistor okay and uh, and so, so this is a total equation and why they are using one more inverter here because this is not in a complemented form okay so if you make it as a complemented then you will get pi so till here you are getting pi minus 1 bar in so the here you here you are getting pi minus 1 so pi minus 1 into a plus pi minus 1 into a bar okay so actually you want pi you no know? so the complemented you don't want you want only pi so that's why one more inverter one more inverter means in nmos how we will design inverter so one depletion and one nmos circuit okay so this is the circuit diagram of the parity generator nmos so for this one you have to draw the stick diagram so the stick diagram is very easy so here i am considering and that is an uh, nmos that's why it's in green color if you cut one polysilicon okay so this is a polysilicons uh, red color and uh, this is the yellow is a depletion imp implant and this is a polysilicon again this polysilicon is connected to the another one so this is an inverter so in the inverter is also so this is an one more depletion the, so and yellow is an implant and this is the one more nmos transistor okay so this is the circuit of nmos circuit uh, parity generator nmos circuits and stick diagram so the next is the parity generator using cmos circuits and stick diagram okay so same equation okay the equation is same so the equation is pi is equal to pi minus 1 bar ai pi minus 1 bar into ai plus pi minus 1 into ai minus okay so the equation is here we have to do both the pmos and nmos because it is in cmos we have to do both pmos and nmos so you already we did already nmos no nmos so like uh, it is in series and uh, both are in series and one uh, plus that is parallel so the same circuit only the pmos is different because in pmos uh, if dot comes if dot comes it is in parallel so that's why make it as an pi minus 1 and ai pi minus 1 and ai it is in parallel and again pi minus 1 and ai this is also parallel see pi minus 1 and ai these are the parallel and these should be in series okay that's why you have make it as a one line here so plus is there so this is a series okay so this is series with this equation okay and again in the circuit in the circuit they drawn one more inverter because of a complemented we will get okay inverter so that is an one pmos and one nmos and you will get pi so for this circuit so this is the stick diagram see the yellow is indicated you know no the yellow is indicated pmos and green is indicated nmos and uh, these are the polysilicons okay four polysilicons ai pi minus 1 and pi minus 1 uh, uh, complemented and uh, pi minus 1 and ai bar okay and uh, blue is blue is a input and output indication input and output indications and the polysilicon we cut at each and uh, this is the circuit okay so this is the explanation about the parity generator cmos circuit okay if you have any doubt regarding this you just call me okay thank you